Hello there, welcome back to Why in the Morning. If it's Tuesday, it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. In this particular uh, interview, we get into tech-related business ideas. So it's a conversation you want to st stay tuned in for. So let's look at, so once, let me quote Dennis Crundley, who is the founder of Tech Hub uh, Foursquare. One said that if there is something you want to build, but the technology isn't there yet, uh, find the closest way to make it happen. And Derek Masera Mwambili has actually made it happen. He is the owner and founder of uh, Zurion Technologies. Thank you very much, Derek, for creating time to be with us. Thank you, Michelle. It's an honor. All right. So starting us off, uh, who is uh, Derek Masera uh, before he, you know, had passion for technology and ended up creating business opportunity in that particular space? Okay. So um, let me say this is a passion that I have had since uh, when I was a small boy. Okay. Uh, say when I was in class four, that was the first time. I got to interact with a computer. My auntie used to work at a typing school, so I used to go over there over the weekends and I get to interact with the computer. I fell in love instantly. So it's something that I knew this is where I belong, this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Then uh, getting to high school, I studied computer studies and I got into programming. At that point, then uh, it really took over my mind because you get to see there are certain uh, uh, problems or challenges in the world that you need to solve in business, in uh, industry. There are not uh, certain solutions that are, uh, that are solving a real need. So that's how I decided to start coming up with uh, software programs. That was in high school then. After high school, getting to to university, then I I got into computer start computer science. I studied computer science, and uh, that's when now I, now get uh, I got into interested in business. Now I got uh, started to do a few uh, websites during the holidays. I would uh, sell some software. Then the business world now became my interest. All right. Yes. Looking back right now from where you are right now and looking back to your life when the passion was just being groomed, courtesy of, is it your aunt you mentioned? Yes. Yes. Do you feel like it is important when uh, yeah, young kids, when they have uh, an interest to just hold their hands and how impactful was that act of your aunt just holding your hand and uh, in the aspect of you being passionate about uh, technology. How did that help? Yes, uh, it's really important that kids get uh, to know what they love to do early enough. Uh, in my instance, I was very lucky that uh, my auntie uh, was able to hold my hand, be able to, to accommodate me at her place of work, and I'd be able to explore. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so what I can say is uh, parents out there, they should uh, try to find out what the child uh, has an interest in, cultivate that interest, and uh, from a young age, let the child start interacting with what they love to do. It's really important, and uh, that is what is going to make uh, that uh, passion develop. Yes. And for how long has uh, Zurion Technology been op oper in operation? Okay, so Zurion Technologies, I started it in uh, November of 2018, but before that, uh, while I was in campus, I started Frontier Technologies. Uh, it was still a technology company, and um, that was in my third year of campus. Uh, I got to get uh, my first clients that were Elegant Investments. It's a real estate company that is in uh, Mombasa. I developed a property management software for them. That was back in 2012. I kept on improving the software over the years. 
and then I, um, it's really interesting. I, I, I got to partner with a, f a few friends of mine. We registered a partnership that was Frontier Degra. Frontier Degra was doing well. Uh, we developed the business over some time, but you know, in partnership, there are certain challenges that you can experience, and uh, we decided to part ways. And I now registered uh, Zorion Technologies now as a, as a limited company, but uh, as a sole as a sole uh, owner of the company. Right. Yeah, so I decided to go solo at okay. that point. All right, so you decided to be a sole proprietor. Yes. All right. So now for someone who's watching this conversation and they want to get into similar sort of business in uh, opportunities in the technology world, what sort of background does one need to have? What sort of educational background does one need to have in order to get into this business? Okay. So technology is all about passion. It's about what you what you can build. If you, you are interested in it, there is a lot of materials available online. You can be able to Google, you can be able to learn how to code can be able to learn how to do networking on your own. Mm -hmm. These are things that uh, come from the passion that someone has that is inbuilt. But uh, say if you would like to go the route of um, education, you would, uh, it's good that you study an IT related course. And um, you know, when you're in campus, you need to, to go out of your way. You need to see what you can be able to do for yourself, uh, not only what is being taught in class. So that's it, uh, that you need to succeed in the technology business. It's all about passion, it's all about working hard, it's all about uh, developing products or uh, developing an idea that really serves a need out there in the market then you're going to automatically make it, yes. All right. And for someone who is not in a position to go the educational way yes. uh, due to one reason or the other, what sort of skills can one gather in, in this particular space? Okay. So the most important thing that you need to cultivate within yourself is a problem-solving uh, problem attitude. You identify a problem in the, the world that you need to solve, then uh, materials are available online. You can be able to search, you can be able to get tutorials, learn how to code, learn how to, if it's networking, if it's hardware, you just need to, to get online. There are so, ma so many materials available online and you can be able to teach yourself one or two things. Then from there, it's all about uh, your work ethic. In technology, you need to really dedicate your time. You need to spend a lot of time coding, you need to spend a lot of time uh, understanding even what uh, the problem is all about and how your solution can be able to address that particular challenge in the world. And um, you know, mm -hmm. uh, when you are programming, there are a lot of bugs you come across. Okay. You, you get an idea, you, this the solution you think is the perfect way, you do it overnight, it's not working. Mm -hmm. You need to be persistent. So I can say uh, software development or uh, technology, you need to be uh, hardworking, you need to be persistent, and you need to be ha have that fighting attitude. You don't give up easily, you have to keep trying. All right. So let's look at the services that are offered uh, by the company uh, Zero yes. Technologies. Okay. Uh, so primarily we do software development. We have our main product is a property management software, Zorilis. Uh, we say Zorilis lives with ease. Mm -hmm. We make uh, your manage management of your property simple, that you can be able to uh, uh, put records for your tenants. If you are a property agent, your, uh, uh, records for your landlord, be able to invoice clients, do the accounting, and, uh, you can, and it's, a, it's a product that uh, makes uh, your work easier. That is all the way from document management, can be able to, instead of having files in your office, cabinets, you can just scan documents, upload them in the cloud on our platform, then uh, it makes it uh, easy for you to retrieve the documents, share with your colleagues at work, even when you're in the field, since it's a web-based software, mm -hmm. you can be able to access it from anywhere mm -hmm. that you, you are. Then we also have um, 
Um, we also have uh, Zuri Web CRM. This is a product that we are in development currently. We are still under. Uh, we are still uh, developing the product. This is a general uh, customer relationship management software. We thank God. We are blessed to be already having a few clients mm -hmm. coming on board on the software as while well, it's still under development and um, we we really we really like it to be able to get people who can trust us that we can be able to develop software and develop solutions for them yes uh, so those are our main products mm -hmm. uh, uh, Zuri Liz and uh, Zuri Web CRM, but we also offer other services, that is uh, website development. We also do ICT consultancy, whereby we we advise uh, organizations or companies on matters related to IT, ICT in general, and. Uh, this also uh, includes uh, hardware, maintenance, uh, networking, all these uh, issues we, we are there to support mm -hmm. our clients. All right, uh, speaking about software development, what is the purpose of software development when it comes to business? Okay, so in, in business, um, uh, com say a company yes. or an organization, uh, you need to be able to stay in touch with your clients. You need to be able to keep a record of your customers you need to be able to invoice them you have to to receive payments when they make payments clients need uh, uh, statements these are the general things in accounting that uh, each and every business out there requires to to do and uh, so software comes in to make their work easier it comes in to be able to make the business profitable um, that is to cut down uh, operational expenses and uh, also to to prevent or to minimize the exposure to fraud mm -hmm. uh, by say employees so software is a good tool in business to ensure that uh, smooth running of any business software all right so how much does uh does a new website cost if I'm coming to you as a potential client? Yes. Uh, what is my estimation? Okay, so uh, a basic website, uh, a good website, a basic website, mm -hmm. uh, it, it costs around 50,000. Uh, but uh, now when you get a client, you can be able to understand their requirements. Uh, you see, there are, there are static websites, we have dynamic websites, we have uh, shopping carts, all these are. Uh, categories of website uh, ca they have a different uh, quotation. Okay, yeah, so okay. you, you just get to understand what the client needs mm -hmm. and uh, come up with a quotation for them. Mm -hmm. But again, you know, it's in Kenya. People like to negotiate. Yes. So uh, it's not free fixed. We don't have fixed prices. Mm -hmm. You negotiate with the client and uh, strike a deal. Nego negotiating and negotiating uh, as a client. Uh, how possible is it for me to update my website yes. by myself okay. once the whole process <coughs> is finished? Okay, so um, if you if you, you have been developed for a, a good website, it has to be to have a backend, mm -hmm. and it has to be simple for a layman to understand how to update the website. So the websites that we come up with, we use, uh, uh, we use um, uh, tools such as WordPress that are quite simple for a layman to understand how to be able to, to update. You see, you just need to log in to the back end of the website and most of the uh, things are drag and drop or uh, you can easily edit. Yes. Right. What you see is what you get. What you see is, is what you get. What you get. So when it comes to ICT, what what sort of services does the company offer? Okay. Okay. So in uh, generally in ICT, we we apart from uh, web design and software design, we do consultancy. Uh, so consultancy is about uh, getting to uh, to advise companies about. Um, security it security to advise them on uh, even uh, procurement issues which are the best uh, computer you can you can you can get for your business what should be your network setup uh, these things we we are able to advise the client then also we do maintenance of ict infrastructure that is um, 
uh, once you have your IT infrastructure in place, there is um, some maintenance that is required. From time to time, there are breakdowns. You need to to do periodic as well as uh, on-demand maintenance that uh, for hardware and for software. Mm -hmm. You know, it, in uh, technology, there is uh, a lot of threat, threats out on, uh, online. Uh, things to do with the hacking, viruses. Everyone is scared about <laughs> such things. So, That's just, that's <laughs> yeah. so you need uh, an expert uh -huh. uh, like Zurian Technologies mm -hmm. to be with uh, with you as an IT partner to be able to advise on ways of securing your infrastructure and also in case of any breakdowns, you you can be able to call on uh, on us to be able to maintain your infrastructure that your business runs smoothly and you leave the complex or the daunting tasks of technology to the experts. You guys also do ethical hacking? Okay, um, yes we also do ethical hacking whereby you do penetration testing mm -hmm. for networks uh, and uh, to see how secure your, your network is and then you'll be able to advise the client on how to fix those potential security threats yes uh, you guys are really diversified in terms of uh, azuri technologies and what you guys offer from software development web design a uh, social media uh, consultancy there yes. also so what makes you guys different in the market space considering that we have the same we have similar companies offering the same services yes, so what is your niche in the market okay so uh, what makes us different is uh, the team that we have in place uh, we've come up with uh, uh, an innovative team of people who are dedicated, uh, who are able to interact with clients, who are able to understand the needs of the market and be able to come up with solutions that address the market. We actually, our biggest strength that we, we have is trust. Uh, we are able to to, to be able to, we are able to get clients who can trust us and uh, can be able to we can be able to uh, solve their their needs in a in a trustworthy manner. So that is our biggest strength. And uh, also in terms of customer service, uh, we are able to be close to the to the client, uh, listen to the client, understand their needs, and uh, come up with a solution for them. That is what makes Zurian Technologies unique. And uh, uh, makes us successful in the market. All right. At the end of the day, this is a business. Exactly. And uh, let's look. I'd like to find out your money making model, how it looks like. Like, okay. what, what estimates uh, uh, that these particular products cost this or okay. your services? Okay. What are the key uh, elements that you look out for to come up with the uh, quotation? Okay. So, the quotation you come up with, uh, you, you, you look at the uh, the scale of the solution that you are offering. Uh, so say this uh, a, a potential client with a business, you need to an analyze and uh, assess the client, how, how challenging or how involving will it be to be able to serve the client, then you come up with a favorable quotation. Again, we uh, say for our main products, this is the software products, we're offering them on a software as a service subscription model whereby uh, it's a renewed uh, monthly, quarterly, and annually for some clients. So we, we, we're looking at a way that we can be able to get uh, into the market at a, at a low cost uh, price and uh, be able to retain the client and grow with the client. You know, most of the, most of the businesses we are serving are small and uh, upcoming businesses. So we offer products that are affordable to them. We are not looking at... Um, charging a high a high figure so we we as a subscription model means that it's a low price but uh so renewed therefore you grow with the clients we have also have packages uh say someone starts with the startup package the business grows and we go to the uh, essentials package to the professional package to the ultimate package so each uh, each one of these packages has a price on it and uh Th that is our our philosophy. We we want to serve uh, the largest uh, uh, possible market set out out there and grow with the client. Yes. Right. What are a couple of financial lessons that you've learned along the way? Sorry. 
What are a couple of financial lessons as a business okay. that okay. you have learned along the way? Okay, so uh, for entrepreneurs out there and for anyone who is uh, looking to come up with uh, a business in technology or in any kind of business, you really need to look out for your uh, budget. You need to watch out for expenses. You know, it's, uh, it's quite easy to balloon the the budget <laughs> yeah because especially the profits in the ex ex exactly once you you get a client coming on board there is that temptation maybe you need you you think uh, maybe let me get a new office let me add uh, more more executive seats uh, but you have to stick to the plan you need to stick to the budget if you set a budget for the year you just stick with it again also as an entrepreneur sometimes uh, you have the challenge of uh, managing your own personal finances vis-a-vis uh, -vis the finances of the, the company. You know, especially when you are a sole proprietor, it's easy to get lost. You can easily mix the expenses of uh, your, 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 your personal expenses with the expenses of the, of the business. So you should really need to to separate yourself from the business. So uh, does that have mean a like salary you for yourself. Have like a, a different uh, account then. Definitely you need to have a, a personal account for yourself, set a salary for yourself <laughs> and uh, just be disciplined. Mm -hmm. Pay yourself that salary whatever remains in the business leave it for the business. That way you 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 safeguard even your your business. You safeguard your employees. You safeguard uh, even your clients. Uh, you see, it's not uh, it's not nice uh, for the uh, for the entrepreneur to to bring down their own business. Uh, there are people who are, are counting on you. That is your employees, your your clients. They're counting on you. You have to really be disciplined and ensure that uh, you you put your finances and your accounts in order. Mm -hmm. yes. You're in a space whereby you deal with lots of uh, uh, human service and uh, let's find out how do you ensure that you have a good relation with customers, your customer, potential customers? Okay, so um, you, you just need to be, uh, have a, a, an open attitude, an open attitude, uh, that means uh, you know, when you go out marketing, uh, identif identifying potential clients, you have to treat them with dignity. Uh, that uh, they can be free with you. They can be able to, to trust you. You have to be open as much as possible. Just let them know what services you're offering in a, in a courteous manner. And uh, once they, they agree to you, you know, you don't have to, to bother them too much. Well, if you, so in your marketing, don't call them all the time, incessantly sending messages. Just have uh, etiquette, just to be courteous. And then uh, once you have that uh, client, uh, ensure that you have their best interest at heart. Uh, address their needs in a timely manner. And uh, all the time you have to deliver what to you promise to the client yes they can say that is the way you can be able to build a long-lasting relationship with a client that is just uh, have good manners uh, be dedicated to what you're offering and deliver what you you promise all right what are your marketing channels for the for the business okay um, majorly we do online marketing since we are a technology company, we also have to harness the, com uh, the technology internally as a company. So we do marketing on social media. Majorly we do it on Facebook. We have a Facebook page, that's where we, we post content. We also have a Twitter handle, we do it also on Instagram. These are the channels that you use to do social media marketing. And then, uh, very important, uh, when you're doing uh, online marketing is to have a website because uh, the, the content that you post uh, on social media, when someone is interested to learn more, where do they get the more information about you? That is, you have a link to your website. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we, we have a website where we, we uh, advertise our services and uh, that's uh, any content that we create online on social media, we we link it to the website. Again, we also do traditional marketing, that is uh, walk-ins. Yeah, this uh, where you have to, you know, uh, 
in certain businesses uh, you deal with people who are not online that's true yeah, so you have to also uh, go out of your way do walk-ins uh, traditional sales yes uh, and uh, for sure the most uh, the marketing channel that has the most impact is uh, referrals whereby your, the clients that you've served that are satisfied with their services, they, they always refer you to their friends, to, to other, other businesses. That's the, the way that you, and it's, it's actually easier to close a deal with someone who has been referred to you than someone who has seen your ad maybe on social media. The one that has been referred to an, by an existing client, that is the one that is uh, most uh, easy to convert into a client. Mm. So that is how we, we are doing our marketing. Yeah, because there's the issue of trust, yes. which has already been built from a referral point of view. Yes. Okay, so looking at <coughs> this particular business space, uh, during the time of COVID-19, which, which had really hit quite very hard, uh, it's a, a if I'm wrong, you can correct me. It's okay. a recession-proof kind of business because okay. it's still ongoing. People are opening up business and they feel the need to be on an online space. How did the uh, business perform during the time whereby they were probably um, locked down in different uh, countries and also the issue of uh, no much movement within our country at that particular time and business uh, being uh, closed down? Yes, uh, 2019 has particularly been a challenging year for uh, for Zurian Technologies, uh, I mean 2020, 2020, 2020 sorry, 2020 has really mm -hmm. been a challenging period because um, if your clients are impacted by yeah. by the pandemic, even you will get uh, the domino effect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So especially our clients in the real estate sector, you find um, at that yes. time people uh, don't want to pay the rent. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, so yeah, you, you, they, they struggle. So also you you get affected. They yeah. they pay you late. Mm. Sometimes they, uh, we had clients who could go even uh, six months. They have not made a payment. So that uh, that really affected us. But again, I can say even globally, you can you can see. Uh, there was that recession due to the pandemic, but still technology businesses were still performing well. Mm -hmm. So um, what Very happened true. for, in our case, we just closed the office initially because we are all scared. We don't know uh, how this uh, virus is going to affect. We closed the office, so we shifted to work from home. A good thing about a technology business is you can work from anywhere. So our employees went home with their computers and they were working from home. Mm -hmm. uh, so at least we were still able to offer service during the pandemic. Uh, this other part of uh, the clients making payment, this, uh, this is something that you just have to persevere. Mm -hmm. You just need to understand this is uh, a situation that is uh, ongoing and maybe with time it will come to pass. You just have that hope that is going to, to pass. And um, so we just continue offering the service and uh, hoping things get better. All right, yes. so what are a couple of challenges that you face in this uh, uh, space of a business? Okay, uh, the major challenge that uh, you face is uh, most uh, people in Kenya, or uh, say in the African context, uh, most people don't value uh, software. You see, there's availability of uh, cracked uh, software. Even uh, if you walk around in the country, it's, it's, uh, you'll find a lot of people are using uh, pirated software. So this is a challenge uh, that makes you, you go to a client, you, you tell them, I'm going to, to offer this particular product, it's going to solve this particular challenge you have. And they ask you, how, how much is, is it going to cost? Mm -hmm. So when you tell them it's going to cost uh, 200,000, it's going to cost 500,000, uh, they are astonished. Mm -hmm. you, you mean it costs this much and uh, I'm able to, maybe I can get this thing uh, for free. Uh, but you know that is, uh, an, uh, those are unethical things. That's um, the the perspective that people have about uh, software, they don't really value it uh, much. 
they want to get the service, but again, people don't want to pay for the, the for software. The for the software. Yes, so that is the biggest challenge that we, we, we have. Now, um, to counter that challenge, that's why we came up with this uh, subscription model. We came up with these uh, packages whereby we, we can be able to offer service to a diverse range of, uh, of uh, clients. The, 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 the one who, who are starting off, they can give them a starter package. Established businesses, they can be able to get onto the ultimate package. So uh, uh, that way you are able to counter that challenge of people um, not understanding what, why, why are you charging me for the software. Yeah, yeah, you know, coming up with a software, it takes time and it takes a lot of effort. It takes uh, mm. sleepless nights, coding, you sacrifice a lot, yeah. Yeah? even uh, running a software or a, a technology business is also expensive. You need to, to, to pay staff. You need to uh, have an office. There are certain expenses that, uh, regardless that you are a technology business, you also have to incur certain expenses just as any other business out there. So you have to educate the public to be able to understand and appreciate, and appreciate this uh, locally developed uh, software is something that is good, as, as good as uh, international software that maybe the Microsofts and the Oracles on the world, these things also can be developed locally and uh, people just need to appreciate and support uh, local, locally developed uh, solutions. All right. And what are a couple of measures that you guys are taking as a business to just scale up uh, okay. during this year of 2021? Okay. So we are coming up with new products. Um, uh, uh, that I mentioned, uh, Zurib CRM. This is uh, a general uh, software that can be used by any business out there to be able to manage their clients. Uh, so th this uh, product that we are bringing to market is what we are looking to scale up the business again. We are looking to do more sales and marketing for our our bread and butter that is the Zuril is uh, property management software. Mm -hmm. the, this is how we plan to scale up the business that we can be able to to further develop the software, we can be able to employ more more staff to work on the software and uh, come up with even new products. Mm -hmm. So it all depends on how well our pro uh, products are going to perform out there in the market. The more uh, the more you can be able to to bring on board customers, generate revenue, that is the more you can also be able to look into uh, developing your staff, uh, coming up with new products, okay. and also do further marketing for the existing products. All right, so how can yeah. people find you on social media if they want to know more? And I have a question, okay. uh, for someone who's watching us okay. and they would like to start a business or they have passion in uh, uh, software development, web design, yes. uh, are you guys in a position to, uh, you know, Not. mentor, offer these particular skills? Okay, yes. So. The first question you asked me was how we can get us on social media. On uh, we, we are on Facebook, Zurion Technologies is a Facebook page. You can get us on uh, on Instagram, and um, you can also visit our website zuriontech.com. And um, this you can connect with us. We, we, we much appreciate. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so coming to the question of how someone can be able to to get into this particular kind of business we can we can uh, do mentorship at the moment we already have in our organization interns who are, who are we, we are mentoring uh, that they can be able to get a, a platform to showcase uh, their talents so this is something that we are open to mm -hmm. we enjoy interacting with the, the young and uh, vibrant talents Yes, we, they are all welcome to join us at Zurion Technologies. Um, if you are a software developer and uh, you you would like to to develop solutions for for in business or in enterprise, you can you can reach us out to us. Send us an email info at zuriontech.com. Uh, we can be able to get a position for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you need mentorship. 
can always reach out to us. We'd, we'd much appreciate. Perfect. Yeah. So you said it's at uh, Zuri Technologies across all social media handles. Zuri on Technologies. Zuri on Technologies. Yes, yes. What about the website? The website is uh, www.zuriontech.com. All right. Yes. Thank you very much, Derek uh, Masera, for creating time to be with us and talking Thanks, about pertaining tech-related business. Thank you, Michelle. It has been an honor. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> All right. That is Derek Masera Mwambili, Zurian Technologies uh, owner and founder, talking to us about tech-related business. I hope you enjoyed this particular conversation and you learned a couple of a few things. And if you have any question, remember, keep the conversation going at Y254 channel at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all, all my social media handles. We'll be right back. So make sure you don't turn that down and uh, enjoy more Oprah in the morning. <laughs>